my help is here my help has come my help has come my help has come spirit 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 I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. Shalabadana. Spirit. Spirit. Ebeko no no. Andi mochi neke. Andi mochi neke. Andi solundi orzi koche. Oh, you spirit that followed our ancestors, where are you? Our ancestors in faith that followed Abraham, followed Isaac, followed Jacob, followed Peter, followed Paul, follow John Knox. Follow the Rebecca Brown. Where are you? Look at me tonight. Hi. My hope has come. Hey. Hi. Can somebody pray? I, 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 I. Ebenezer, you are my help. Spirit, pour your spirit on me. I don't want to talk about spirit. Acts of apostles of the Holy Ghost <laughs> produce another journey with me that is my cry <laughs> my cry oh Lord my cry oh Lord my cry power out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water somebody pray tonight Somebody pray. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. <laughs> Spirit. Ebeko no no. Anamajo. Ebeko no no. Spirit. Come on. Look at me. And they more look at me. And they more look at me. And they more look at me. Power! Jesus! Oh. Spirit, look at me. Spirit, look at me. And I'm a young. And I'm a young. And they more look at me. And I'm a young. Kai! Kai! How can you finish your journey? How can you finish your journey? And nothing, nothing will take your family captive. Oh, look at me. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Look at me. And they more look at me. Oh. Look at me. Oh. Spirits look at me. Spirits look at me. Hi. Every believer has an allocation. 
your location is not money your location is spirit <laughs> every believer has a divine allocation it is no money it is spirit oh lord oh lord oh lord where is my own allocation Locate me Shalabadada Anemo locate me Hana Mayo Oh no look at me Look at me Hey You cannot sing God in a song Shakusi Ikakukuha Ekekekeke Le Kafalosia in la twenty rasie let them power spirits to your tongues look at me and then more look at me Hannah Mayo sit down don't sit down hey Professor Gadi said, told my president, you can go. He said, you can go. Prayer secretary, you can go. I must be here. Until something is registered. He was praying on that mountain alone till Saturday morning. Praying till Saturday night. Praying into Sunday. On the hours of Sunday. As he was lying down, light broke out. And he heard a voice that told him, Your battle is over. When did you hear from God last? Have you ever entered the realms where voices, voices, start talking to you voices 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 Kai. today the same boy from that second year his list score was B list a man whose highest score was E. His least score was B. If not because of the terrible result he got in first and second semester of first year, he would have come out with first class. Today, is a professor. How can you end this way? How, how, how? It is an insult to grace that a man that has a connection with divinity just lost out. I gained admission. Listen, I gained admission. Me. When my admission to study pharmacy as the first person to go to her institution in my village. First person. In my clan. With all the struggles to run science subject in secondary school. And I gained admission. I brought my admission letter to my father's house. My father saw it and broke out in tears because there was no money anywhere. And he told me, carry it and put it in the box. When your children will grow, they will know that you tried, but there was no money. I said not now that I'm a Christian. Not now. If I didn't have a signal at all from divinity, if I had no signal, if I was just a natural man here, that would have been a big, a very, a very, a very big achievement, but not now. And that that morning, one morning I was reading my Bible. And the Holy Ghost led me to our lost prayer. 
and in the lost prayer i i just first saw the first line our father who art in heaven ah! the revelation came i said so by being in christ i have two fathers so one here and another one in heaven it became a revelation sir it became a revelation not just a bible it became a revelation our father in heaven hi in heaven hi so another thought came to me so if your father on earth cannot help you eh so why not ask the one in heaven to know whether they can help it was just coming that ministration i knew there were some angels already sitting down sitting down around me invisible spirits expounding the scripture expounding it opening it larger and larger and deeper and deeper at the point i couldn't contain myself and i met one brother who used to have a room brother chidozie and i said sir can i use your room to to seek the face of the father in heaven I went home and told my father, don't look for me. I'm going somewhere. Don't look for me for the next four days. So don't look for me, sir. I, I entered. And I told Brother Chido, he said, lock this room from outside. And come back after four days. If you meet me alive, good. If you meet me dead, tell my people that i died pursuing to hear from my father in heaven because my father on earth can no more foot my pill just tell them like that and let them carry my corpse and bury on the first day of the prayer i could still move around i could still stand i could still pray second day i was growing weaker fasting no food no water I wanted heaven. I, Jesus. I wanted to hear. So it's not enough to me that God speaks. He must speak to me. He must talk to me. He must talk to me. And on the, on the third day, I couldn't even stand up again. I was lying down on the floor. Which time I want to pray. <sighs> the night preceding the fourth day that they are coming to open the door God appeared and said my son go hey, for the just shall live by faith so when when that voice just came I opened my eyes ah, it was still 4 a.m. Uh -huh. I said every other person said no money no nothing you can't make it but today i've gotten a word can i tell you one word from the father one word from the father has paid your bill for life okay. so I, I'm, I'm just praying i'm just praying that before these 14 days is over Eh? there could be a struggle by some of you to see whether you can snatch a word a word from the father pastor that brother came and opened the door and opened the door and he said my brother are you still there i says yes thank you for giving me your room and i've also heard the father and he said i should go I reached home. Told my father, I'm going to school. He said, My son, sit down. Are you are you alright? He started touching my head. I said, uh, What is happening on your head? I said, You are touching my head. I just he said, I just wanted to know whether you're alright. 
Is it just because there is no money? He broke out in tears again. I said, Papa, don't cry. I'm going to school. He said, has anybody offered to help you? Hi. I said, Papa, for the past four days you have not seen me. I locked up myself to hear from God. And I heard a voice that said, go for the judge shall live by faith. He said, my son, sit down again. So I sat down. He said, how can go? The judge shall live by faith. Pay your school fees. How can it buy these books for you? How can it feed you on campus for five years program? Or do you want to go there to die? I said, Papa, it was only the word I needed. It didn't give me details. Can I announce to you? Can I announce to you? Can I announce to you? Don't ask for details. You only need the word for this journey. One of the prayers you need to pray today and for these 14 days is that the word that will lead you for life shall appear from the Spirit to meet you. I didn't hear a better amen. Ben and brethren, I say, Papa, what I needed from you is to pray for me. And in tears, he laid his hand and prayed for me. I carried my village bag and entered UNN. No one naira. Only had transport to take me to UNN. And when I saw that lion, the molded, I came and stood before the lion and said, The son of the lion of the tribe of Judah is here. Two things is either I die here pursuing tomorrow or you will deliver certificate into my hands. I was loitering around the campus like a foolish human being. Not with anything except the word that I received. And that evening, that evening, that evening, I met one brother McDonald. That saw me and said, Ah, Emek, are you here? I said, Yes, I'm here. He said, I want to visit you because I want to invite you to our fellowship. And I told he asked me, Where is your room number? I said, This bag I'm carrying today is my is my room number. I'm just arriving. Students have started lectures over three weeks. When there was still a contemplation whether I would go or whether I would not go. I asked him, sir, are you sleeping somewhere? He said, yes. Can I follow you to this night to sleep in your room? He said, ah. So he carried my village. Ghana must go. Others are coming to campus with Ecolax. I was, I was carrying waterproof. Ghana must go. God must change your story. It, it is an abomination that you finish following Jesus and there is nothing to show for it. No, you have just followed religion, not Jesus. Not him. Not him. Sir, I enter that room and I say, God, so I can find a place to sleep this night, he said. Hmm. I say, Jesus, so I can find a place to sleep on campus this night. I prayed in the tongues of the angels and in the tongues of men. And I slept. That morning, McDonald woke me up. I said, Come. There's a message from our roommates. My heart jumped. I thought that my prayer has betrayed me. And I told him, Did they say I should pack? He said, No. Did they say I should leave your room this morning? He said, No. I said, Madonna, go ahead and talk. He said, they are their roommates. Observe the prayer I prayed. And there is one bed, there is one demonic bed that need to arrive, that used to arrive here every 1 a.m. Every 1 a.m. And once that bed start crying, nobody will sleep until the bed will finish crying and fly away. 
and this night you came this singular night you came the bed did not come and he said my roommate said i should ask you whether our room is good for you because if your presence here did not allow the bed to patch this night that means the bed will not come again they said they should beg you they said they sent me to beg you and i told them okay i can manage yeah I can manage, I can manage, I can manage your room. For, I can manage your room for now. And from that morning, my name changed from first year students to man of God. Everybody in that room, both those in final year, big boys there, man of God, man of God. And when they were going to eat that day, they said, man of God, let's go eat. So, I followed them. We went to ref. I was putting my hand in my pocket like this. And they said, ah, man of God, what are you trying to do? I said, I want to pay for my own food. He said, ah, no, 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 no. No, we can't be here. And man of God is paying for food. He said, man of God, sit down. What do you want to eat? I said, I want to eat fried rice, then fish, then plantain. You know, if they, if they have chicken they can also have chicken so they said no problem so they brought the food kept on my table and i finished eating they paid and they left they said man of god for this whole week we'll be we'll be buying food for you trusting god that that bed will not come back again so are you are you hearing what i'm saying yes, sir. so so after one week they asked me, have you paid your school fees? I said, no. Ah, they said, we can't be here and you are talking about school fees. So they went and inquired what pharmacy pay. Bought the bank draft and came and dropped in the room. I said, anytime you want to pay, man of God, go and pay your school fees. That's how I became a student. That's how, that's how the journey of studentship started. I was down going for lectures. I didn't know, sir. I didn't know that even those fasting and prayers that were there were angels already attached to the journey of that word that God released. And I was telling it was those angels that drove away those beds because I didn't know that I was already in the company of spirits. Be on your feet for prayer. You see, you see, one prayer, oh God. No, how, wait, how can you how can you finish your journey with divinity and there are no company of spirits? <laughs> eh? How can how can you finish your journey? You see, some people in church are still praying about witches. You can't hear any prayer point about witches around me. I can, I can, how can I? It's an insult to the spirits around me. You, you remember when the Syrian soldiers came to capture capture Elisha? You know, Elijah, those Syrian soldiers came, and the son, the servant, was just crying, say, My father, my father, they have finished us. I was thinking that Elisha will say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, deliver me here. But the appearance of the Syrian soldiers was no more prayer point. That's a level you come to. Some prayer points will die. And 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 only one prayer he prayed. He said, Oh God, open the eyes of this boy so that. He can also see we are not alone in this journey. And they opened the eye of the body. So chariots of fire. Chariots of fire. So how can you finish your journey? You know, when I see some young men running after audacia, no man of the, they don't know that there are greater audacia in this journey. This journey of Jesus. So how can you finish your journey as a believer? And even one angel is not assigned to your life. So 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 what an aberration. What an insult to a divine journey. I know that. Lift up your two hands. Hi. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need to end this meeting now. Masikatuta. Lika Sokoto. Pray. Pray. Just say after me. Oh Lord my God. Oh Fanjo. Hey. 
Hey, hey, allocation, allocation. Release my angels on this journey. I cannot be stranded. I cannot tell the same story. Others are telling her. Oh, oh, power. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Allocation of angels. Heaven is. Heaven is our Malia Kazule. Nothing will happen to you, my sister. No weapon of the enemy will succeed around you. For your daughter of Zion, may God release angels to guard you in the journey of life. Today, as I lay my hand on you, those seeking for your death, those seeking to extend terminate your journey they shall sleep and they shall not wake up again I, I, I build a wall of fire all around you all around your journey in life sit down sit down I need to stop very quickly sit up man of god it didn't stop that way i was with them in that room and first semester was over first semester was over we entered second semester i didn't also know that 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 spirit following me have decided to arrest everything that will be for my journey on my academic years that was passing across faculty of pharmacy. And one lecturer just saw me and said, Yes! Young boy, come. I came. He took me to his office. First year, my heart jumped. I said, Sir, here I come. And he said, You see, I got a scholarship for to round off my PhD in Germany. My wife also got a scholarship at the same time to round off her PhD in the US. And both of us have been praying for somebody to look after our house until we return. And as you are passing, something following you just struck my spirit and said, That is the boy. Be on your feet for another prayer. You see, you see, you see, you see. I, 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 don't, I, don't know, I don't know how to explain some issues. I've told God, when I get to heaven, you need to play some videos of so that I can understand the spiritual implication of some of the things I'm sharing. And all that. Lift up your right hand. I heard the voice of the Lord. Something that will that will arrest your helpers is going to follow you in this meeting. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. And say after me, oh Lord, my God. Let the angel there is an angel that will arrest your husband, that will arrest your wife, that will arrest your business partners, that will arrest co-ministers, that will arrest men and women that will have a journey with you. Take that angel. Take your angel. Take your angel. Take your angel. Shaliak. Saluta. Take your angels. Let your angels look at you. Take Shalabayabara. Lekatota. Isasa. I see good news coming your way before the end of this year. Hiya, young lady, 
take your good news come in your way before the end of this year harvest harvest your good news mama let the angel that will connect you to your blessings sit down sit down please sit down sir the man took me said i should come in the evening i followed him to the down for you <coughs> that's that's the lecturer's quarters was living at the top floor three bedroom flat then there was a boy's quarter down he said we well, have also arranged some food items for you because we don't want you to go anywhere we just want you to stay here and look after this place okay. after taking them to the airport i came back i opened all the rooms i slept in all the beds and it was it was too much for me so i left i went back to the hostel and met those boys that harbored me the first day i said come they followed me went to the to the place and i told them today i relocate you from hostel life to boys quarter life so that boys quarter down there belongs to you from now at least for the next one year for me at that top floor that's my new house so if if you need anything you can come upstairs and they said what's happening and i told them that it is part of the business of the spirit the man came back after 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 that one full year with the wife checked everything they had everything was correct they looked at my face and the man said we adopt you as our son and you remain here until you are done i was in their house and i finished my second year went to the village gathered my younger ones that are remaining